Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custer Brass. I'm here with our newest associate, Dr. Chris White. Hello, Chris. Hello. Chris, uh, just in, we just finished recording a bunch of demos of the Adams Trombone, and we thought we'd spend a few minutes talking about the Adams Trombone. Absolutely. So, um, why don't you start talking about like your impressions of the trombone? Because you coming from someone who, uh, first, let's talk about what you play currently. I currently play on a uh, customized Shires mm -hmm. for my uh, the classical rig, which is mainly what the uh, Adams trombones for the large F attachment, large bore F attachment trigger. Yep. Um, and so the setup I play on has kind of the standard uh, box style slide. Um, it has the gold brass bell, okay. and then it uses an axial flow valve system, gotcha. or also known sometimes as a Thayer valve. Yes, but Shires make I think they make their own. Right? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, with, in regards to the Adams Tremone, there's some similarities, but there's a lot of differences. But in general, the general brushstroke, it's, it's, it's in the sort of same world, we'll say. Um, if you don't know the Adams Tremone, they make, they make a, one model of tenor Tremone right now, um, the TB1. And that's the model that when you go on YouTube or Facebook and check out all the clips that we're doing, you'll see Chris uh, beautifully demonstrating these. Um, <clears throat> and right now, they're doing that only because they want to focus on making sure that this Tremone is the finest Tremone in the world. And there's three uh, big uh, parts to it. Uh, one, of course, is the bell. Mm -hmm. And you'll hear the, the demos we did were, were demos of Chris playing similar excerpts with different bells. So, for instance, yellow brass, gold brass, and sterling silver bells. Um, there's also different hand slides. Uh, you have a single bore or dual bore dual bore slide um, in uh, primarily yellow brass or nickel silver. Um, so that you could tweak and also the tuning slides are interchangeable with different alloys. I think they make uh, yellow brass, red brass and sterling on those. Uh, if you ever have any questions just email us at info at austincustombrass.com. Of the bells, what are your impressions of the three bells starting with yellow brass? Um, well, I want to preface everything by saying that really you can get any job done with really any combination. Yeah. It's just a kind of a matter of um, each one sort of has their own little flavor to it. Absolutely. So starting with the yellow brass, I kind of describe it as being right down the middle. So um, good projection, uh, good kind of right in the middle core sound, good, art, good articulation and attack. Um, just kind of really good for pretty much just kind of all around doing just about anything um, that you could do. And then where you get into the differences is like the gold bell, yep. for instance, it's a little bit darker sound and hopefully the, the clips that we did will, you all will really be able to hear that. Um, a little bit darker sound, like if you want to call it warmer, yep. maybe more rich, um, still plenty of projection, but in order to project in the same way, you might have to work a little harder. Right. Um, maybe a little less suited for commercial type stuff, just because you would have, to, it'd be harder to kind of get that kind of thing. Sure. But still, you could still use it in that yeah. vein. Uh, um, I'm gonna interrupt for a second and just let people know that when we're talking yellow and gold, these are brass bells and they still have a, a mix. All brass has a mix of certain contents of yellow brass, copper, tin, and the like. Um, the gold brass has a higher concentration of copper basically it's not a full copper bell but it's a blend um if you're doing a percentage and these aren't the percentages that adams uses but let's say a, a yellow brass is 70 30 yellow brass to copper the the gold brass might be you know uh 75 or i'm oh, sorry 65 35 something like that right. um and what i feel um, on my end it, dealing with customers for about a decade with the trumpet line at least and I, and it definitely I think correlates really well with the trombone is the fact that the the gold brass does two things it has a slightly warmer sound on the the EQ spectrum it takes a little bit of the highest overtone off right um, and it also delays the articulated shape as well just, yeah, slightly. just a little bit so it's yeah. a little bit I mean it might be a little bit more energy for the the player to make the the note actually spark but yeah and everything's it's very subtle everything is also relative to the player too. correct say you have right. a really bright sound the gold brass can be the perfect option to temper your bright sound absolutely or say you play maybe you play something with a fairly aggressive mouthpiece um 
<clears throat> that also tempers. Yep. The last bell that, that you demonstrated was the sterling silver. Can you talk about your experience with that? Yeah, and see, so where gold kind of goes this direction, sterling goes that direction in that it's a bit more, as you put it, aggressive. Yeah. Um, the articulation the and just the sound in general um, is a little more brilliant, yep. a little more sparkly. Um, and with that, it's one of those things where you would need to be careful as a player um, if you're already a fairly aggressive or fairly bright player, ooh, be, be, be careful, be mindful of the sterling because it's going to be really whoo, pop yeah. out there. But it's really, as you'll hear in some of these excerpts too, like the, um, the jazz excerpt especially, you right. had commented after we yeah, did it. It was like perfect. It just kind of like zinged right on out yeah. for that. So. And, and versus the gold brass and yellow brass bells, which are blends of brass, sterling silver is pure sterling silver and it's also a little bit different than if you know other sterling silver companies they um, make those over a mandrel and they're electroformed um, <clears throat> these are completely handmade over sheet metal so it's actually a really really labor intensive and quite costly process uh, it also means that the sterling bell is a fair amount of more expensive we find um, that the sterling should be uh, really primarily geared towards someone who's very confident in where their sound is at this particular point. Right. Because it can accentuate um, certain artifacts in your sound that you might not like. What I love, and I play a sterling bell on my trumpet, um, what I love is that when I play it soft, it has a beautiful warmth and it has a good core to it without it being dead. But the right. moment you give it some life, two things happen. One, it projects like mad. And two, <laughs> Inside a section, you can hear yourself a lot better. So the feedback response is really incredible. Um, so that's kind of a, a run through of the bells on the Adams Tremone line. These are fairly new products to us. And um, all you have to do to reach out to us is just send us an email, uh, info at austincustombrasses.com or call us 781-944-6247. Thank you, Chris. Absolutely. You're the best. So we'll, take you, we'll talk to you soon. If you're on YouTube, Hit that subscribe button. I'll put it right in between us, right there. And you can keep uh, up to date with all of our new videos. We're going to be launching a lot of these Tremone videos in the next few weeks. So be sure to check them out. Take care.